Hey everyone, we are now on Unit 3, Chapter 5. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to go over the questions on 123, uh, 125, and 127. Now, don't be surprised if you missed the question on page 123. It was quite easy to miss. So the question asked, uh, what does Asuka's story tell you about why she is happy to challenge herself with real-world issues? Uh, Asuka believes she is privileged to live where she does and enjoys the opportunities that she has had. Uh, she wants to do something to help others who are less privileged. She seems to have lots of energy and enjoy spending time uh, helping others. Page uh, 125, number one. Uh, what has Asuka done to build a strong community and to help others? Uh, she has put together a forum to raise awareness about child labor, which is an issue which affects many families across Asia. Uh, question number two. Asuka is concerned about issues such as child labor. What current world issues concern you? Now, you could have varying answers on this, uh, but I imagine right now world health uh, would be probably a major issue for many of you. Uh, access to education, uh, freedom of religion. Uh, there's numerous examples you could use for this question. Uh, question number one on page 127. How might areas with high elevation be used differently from areas with low elevation? Uh, the inland areas have the highest elevation. There are narrow strips next to the oceans that consist of low, flatter land. It is difficult to build cities on the sides of mountains, um, and there is also very little flat land for farming. So most people would live and farm on the flatter areas of uh, low elevation near the ocean. Uh, 